Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making cocoa bread. Cocoa bread, it's a Caribbean bread that you normally eat with patties. I've had it so many times but this is my first time trying to make it myself. And I got this recipe from another YouTuber. Her channel name is How to Cook Channel. So check her out and this is my first time so we'll see how it goes. So our first step is to sift the flour. So I'm gonna put my flour, as you can see, I have my bowl, my sifter on top of my bowl. So I'm gonna add my flour in and sift it. And sifting is a process of just lightening the flour, making it light and airy. That way your finished product is much lighter as well. It's a softer texture, so that's the reason for uh, sifting your flour. You see that a lot with cake recipes and this is the first time I've seen it with a bread recipe but the concept is the same. Now we're going to add in the sugar. Next, we're going to add the yeast. And this is fast, rapid rise yeast. And the reason we can put it right in the flour is because it's a finer texture than active dry yeast. Active dry yeast needs to be bloomed. So it needs to be um, activated in a warm liquid so it comes alive. But this fast active yeast doesn't need that step. So you can put it right into your dry ingredients. Next, we're gonna add our oil to the coconut milk. we're going to add it to our mixture. All right. Now I have my ingredients mixed in and I still have to add my salt. I didn't add my salt in yet because I've always learned that salt kills your yeast or it stops it from growing and since that happens I don't want to do that I want to make sure that my yeast will bloom so I'm going to add it in last and I didn't mention but my liquid I use coconut milk but you can use any milk that you want almond milk whole cow milk you can use any milk you want I just use coconut milk because it is cocoa bread and it has to be warm. And warm is soft to a baby's touch, so more so a baby's bath water. And to be specific, it's about 110 degrees. So I'm just in here and I'm gonna knead this dough. The recipe says you have to knead it for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna knead this dough for 10 minutes. And I'll show you the finished product. As you can see, it's coming together nicely. But I'm gonna need it for 10 minutes. And I'll let you see the finished product. This is our finished product. And this dough is so soft, so soft. It's a nice texture, this dough. Normally I have to put a lot of flour on the dough, on a cutting board, on my surface to knead the dough. But this dough has the perfect ratio of liquid to flour because I didn't even need to add any more flour. So now I'm gonna add it to a greased bowl and I'm going to let it rise for about an hour just until it doubles in size. And a tip that I found someone mentioned is that 
you can put it in the microwave because you need to put it in a dark space because that's what helps yeast grow as well a warm dark environment so someone suggested put it in the microwave so i'm going to try that chick that trick and i'll let you know what happens all right as you can see the dough has risen nicely and according to the recipe we're going to take this out and knead it again for 10 minutes so i'm going to do that and i'll be right back all right so now the dough's been kneaded for i kneaded it for 10 minutes so i'm going to cut it into six equal parts that's what the recipe creator did she cut it in six equal parts and that's what i'm going to do this is a lot of dough so if you want you probably can cut it into eight pieces if you want it but she wanted bigger cocoa bread so i'm gonna follow her lead and cut it into six pieces so that's what we have here then she took each piece and just kneaded it into a ball so you're tucking it under tucking the edges under and then you're going to knead it into a ball you're going to knead it into a ball Again, you're gonna take the dough and tuck it under. You're just tucking it under, tucking it under. And then you're gonna take the palm of your hand and roll the ball into a circle. Roll it into a circle. And you're doing this with the palm of your hand. Just roll it into, your, into a circle. And I remember doing this, not with this particular dough, but bao dough. I worked at a restaurant and we made bao dough and I used to make so many of these so I got used to doing it with both hands to speed up the process because we had to make so much dough. So I'm going to continue with the rest of my dough and I'll be back. All right so we have our dough ready. I'm just flattening it out a little bit. See that air bubble? And we're just gonna roll it out. Roll it out. And once you have it rolled to a good size, you're gonna take your butter and lather it on. This is, I'm sorry, it's a butter and oil mixture. So you lather that on and you're gonna fold it over. Just fold it over. Don't press it down, just fold it over. 